Hello and welcome to Ms. Ma's Grade 10 Math Class. This is a 3.5 supplemental video. Um, so I just wanted to talk about how we could prove that no other circle passes through PQ and R using algebra. Um, so I'm going to just, you know, assume that you already watched example B part A and go ahead with part B right now. So um, basically we want to assume that there is a circle. Okay, let's assume there is a circle with center not for one passes through P, Q, and R. So let that let that center be. Um, let's call it H K. So basically we have a circle x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, right? So if I plug these numbers in, I can find some equations uh, and that will help me to solve for h, k, and r. So 9 minus h squared plus uh, negative 3 minus k squared equals r squared. I've got 8 minus h squared plus uh, 6 minus k squared is equal to r squared. And else I'll got negative 1 minus h squared plus uh, 5 minus k squared is equal to r squared. Okay, so those are my three equations. I'm just going to label them here, 1, 2, and 3. So I'm going to equate 1 and 2. because they're both equal to r squared, so 9 minus h squared plus negative 3 minus k squared is equal to uh, 8 minus h squared plus 6 minus k squared. Now I can expand this out, so I'm going to get um, 81 minus 18h plus h squared plus 9 plus 6k plus k squared, and feel free to go ahead and Try this on your own. Um, if you like, you should be able to expand and do all this math, uh, you know, pretty well. 12k plus k squared. So now I'm going to just put all of the numbers together. I'm going to move, uh, I think I'm going to move all the k's and numbers to this side. I'm going to move all the h's to this side. So you can see that um, I do, if I do, and you can underline to keep it straight, 81 uh, and 9 is 90, minus 64 minus 36 gives me negative 10. And then I'm going to do, um, I'm going to move all the k's to this side. So 6k and k squared, well 6k and negative 12k, that gives me 18k. And um, k squared and k squared, those cancel, equals, and then I'm going to do, maybe I'll do it in red, negative uh, 18h and 16h over here, so that gives me 2h on this side, plus h squared minus h squared, so the h squareds cancel out. So I get negative 10 plus 18k equals 2h, and if I just divide everything by 2, I'm going to get h is equal to negative 5 plus 9k. Okay, now I'm going to use this, and actually I'm going to call it 4, and I'm going to equate 1 and 3, and then substitute 4 into them. So equate 1 and 3, substitute 4. I'm going to do it in two steps, so that's nice and clear. The key is just not to use the ones that you had originally, because you'll get 0 minus 0, and that would be uh, not helpful. So, plus 5 minus k squared. And now I'll substitute in this for h, so 9 minus negative uh, 5 plus 9k, so plus 5 minus 9k. If you want to put in brackets, you can, um, but just don't. <laughs> I just change the I just change the signs. So negative one plus five minus nine k squared plus five minus k squared. 
and just on the page there. Okay, so um, here we get 14 minus 9k squared plus negative 3 minus k squared equals uh, 4 minus 9k squared plus 5 minus k squared. And we expand this out just like the last one. Um, you can use your calculator, of course, to help you out. I did this in advance, so that's why I'm doing it so quickly. 9 plus 6k plus k squared. So I get 16. Oops, actually, I don't want to put brackets. I'm just going <laughs> to... 16. Um, minus 72k plus 81k squared plus 25 minus 10k plus k squared. Okay, so now that I expanded, expanded it all out, I'm going to move all the k's over to one side and all the numbers over to the other side. If I do that, I get 164. k equals 164. If you want to verify that, you can pause the video and, uh, you know, do your thing. Okay, so I get k equals 1, and I'm going to substitute it um, k equals 1 into 4, this 4 right here, so negative 5 plus 9k, 9k equals h, and so negative 5 plus 9 is equal to h, and h, oops, h is equal to 4. Uh, so these, this is the exact same center as I found, as we had originally, right? That's the one that's given 4, 1, and h is the x value, and y, uh, k is the y value. So the center is the only solution, there's only one solution, and it is 4, 1. Therefore, the circle uh, given in A is the only circle. So there you go, we just verified <laughs> verified what the center was and then we away we go. The other way was to find the circumcenter uh, using perpendicular bisectors uh, which we did in example C if you go back to the original video and um, again we should find 4, 1 and that should be the only circle. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it. That was your supplemental video for 3.5 and uh, thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.